Last time, we completed the exterior paint on the underground Earthbag Muse Art Studio. The family heads back inside to work on the stair rail. We decided to debark the stair posts. What are you doing? What are look you away. doing? Look away! It's not flattering. Let me uh, make myself look better here. <laughs> Chips off the old block. <laughs> what is that? Spatula for My doing um, mud for walls. That, that is that's a, the most efficient thing I've seen all day. That is a big tool. Four big logs, but it works better than whatever Bryce was So doing. why didn't we do this before we put it up? My first thought was is that I was just gonna leave the bark on them and just kind of leave everything in a rough look. Shay, are you Shay thing? <laughs> I personally think that Bree should be able to film anymore because all she can do when she comes over to film us is pun after pun. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Like now. <laughs> A bigger bark than a bite. <laughs> You're not welcome in the workspace anymore. We are having an eyebrow battle, an eye off, eyebrow off. I don't think that eyebrow wars are a thing, but if it wasn't before, it is now. Because it's just too fun not to, you know? <laughs> the rules of the game are this. Whoever starts the eyebrow war does it, right? And then they send it whoever they're, they're gonna play the game with. And the other person sends it back. And then you try to top it so you get more heads in the game until you've run out of people. And then whoever has the most people at the end doing the eyebrow, then you win. My friend Rachel and her sister Lauren. So now it's escalated. It was me, then it was her, then it was me and Jay, and then it was her and her sister. So now we're gonna do the three of us. And it'll keep escalating as many eyebrows as there is available. That's how an eyebrow battle works. Currently, and we're making this stuff up as we go. Here we go, ready? You guys ready? Yeah. which is the good tool, if we're honest. It's beautiful. You know, Shay, I really actually have quite an advantage with this tool. Oh yeah? yeah. Optimism? All detailed out. I'm going. Well, because at first I was trying to do the little hand thing, and that was not working for me. Bryson helped me get a machine going in. And then we got some serious work done with Power Tool. Put your tools out of the way. You helping, Diesel? Oh, did you get some? Yeah, he's debarking that little piece right there. Oh, you're just carving out these things and making it work so you can put all the pieces Yeah, we're taking off all the uh, spark, debarking. Hand railing that I'll be putting around here. You can imagine that you have this curve and you have pieces that are really curved. I mean, they're the pieces of uh, mesquite are, are twisted and turned and so on. So it's a puzzle to be able to put them all together in a railing like this. So that was a lot of fun. Going back and forth until I find one that really works. What kind of dilemma do you have here? I got a big dilemma. You do? Yeah, well, I gotta fit these guys together. Can we be able to do it? Sure. Oh yeah. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do when I put the railings together is to just go ahead and overlap them and then run a bolt right through the middle and down into the post. This is so beautiful, Dad. <laughs> Giggly person here is my friend. She's gonna help us with the work today. Hi! She actually volunteered. Oh, it's so nice of Caitlin to come out and help us as we start cobbing the inside.
It's definitely more difficult than it looks on online. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of fun because I have other people doing it with me at that point. <laughs> and I hope to come back uh, during the summer and help you guys build more. Yay! Yeah. Right, awesome. Free labor! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got brown the chicken pox! <laughs> it's really so much easier and more fun to work with a friend because... You can sing. Hey, I can sing! I'm going. I'm going. Somebody. We got so carried away working. It actually got dark, so Dad brought out his iPhone and put the light on us. Thank you, Thank you for your help, too. I left the door open. So what exactly is this going to do for you little darlings? It hydrates the skin depending on which one. So we both put on the lemon mint and then she put on the avocado. Oh. The avocado <laughs> basically Love it. shows the wrong one, Brie. I think. I think that pieces of my eyebrow and hair are also <laughs> getting some treatment though. Okay, you can see all the cracks in this wall and that comes from one of two things we forgot to put little pieces of straw and secondly when you have too much clay it's more dense and shrinks when it dries and you don't have enough sand in it and you'll create these cracking so i'm not sure which one caused the cracking maybe a little bit of both since we thought we want this room to look like a dragon lair maybe we want the cracks so we painted a little section over the top of just a light color and i'm going to antique it now and we're just just going to see if we like the look of the wall with cracks on it to see the cracks. I'm going to do pecan down on the bottom because that's always my favorite stain. So yeah, this is golden pecan because it's got more of a little reddish tint to it. This one, it doesn't show up very well. It's light. Pretty light. I don't know. Would we dare that, do that on the wall? Yes. I like it, Mom. It looks cool. Um, we've got the top railing on now. Um, I'll be putting down the, the lower part of the banister and then we'll be able to put in the styles in between here. I'll have to take the mesquite and rip it in, in half and then fit them below and secure it to the floor and then work from there. What have we done? Nothing. Yeah, it was so awesome to have Garen come back from his ski job. It was just like, he like he never left. Yeah, that, yeah, because it's like, when he left, then I was like, oh my gosh. Like, okay, well, he's coming back, you know? Diesel! Diesel! And then, um, and then he comes back and it's like, okay, back to normal, all is well. In the past month, it's been like, where is Garen? <laughs> we gotta know. What? No. Diesel, come here! There he goes. Oh. Uh oh, did uh -oh. she steal your dog? <laughs> What's the you matter? Should you should have a oh, What's the matter with you? She just looks so great. Amazing, Dad. Shay. Okay. Wow, this place is looking good, too. So good, though, guys. Oh, you're already getting the inside carved up too, huh? Guys, we should have painted this whole room pink. No, we should have. It's so miserable to be back. Are you happy he's home, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You, are you going to do a lot of those little ones then? Yeah, we're gonna do, use a lot of these. We got a whole bunch of those Ocotillos from a... Yeah. We're, they're supposed to be designed for like kids so they don't stick their heads through and stuff, you know? So you put them real close together. But I figured if we leave the stickers on, the kids won't even touch them. True. Good one, Gary. Good thinking. Back right at it and work in the very next day you get home. What is that? That's an Ocotillo. I don't even recognize it. 
that's, uh, that's pretty good wood down there. So just get them down to that white wood and all this uh, stuff off and you're ready to go. I used my uh, dry knife. Have you used Yeah. See the top on it? Yeah. Time to put a hole in the bottom as to where it's going to go at the direction. Run it down to about an inch, down into this, so that you have a slack. So actually the distance between the bottom of that hole and the top of this hole is greater. So that you can just push it in on the top, slide it in and pull it down, put a nail right there. So what's the determination of how far apart these are? I just don't want diesel to be able to fit through. up staining this a little bit later because some of the uh, the pieces that we put on were pretty green so I wanted to dry out a little bit. This is kind of what I wanted to do with Bryson's uh, stairwell. Diesel. Diesel proof. Looks like it's gonna work. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Stay tuned for next time when we continue to work to finish up the inside. This Wednesday, we're gonna have another podcast. If you missed it, no worries, it turns into a video after we're finished streaming, so you can always catch it anytime you'd like. Thank you! Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Monday, what you got stuck to you? What is that? We'll move it. Go to the goats. Enjoy. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Are you, are you being proud of me? Yeah, we should feature it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs>